I am so proud to be here today. And to understand why I'm so proud, you have to understand kind of where I come from. You know, my family, when I was growing up, my dad was an IBW electrician. He was a lineman, one of those guys you see up on the, on the poles and keep your lights on. My mom was, uh, was a factory worker, first uh, sewing Levi's back when we used to make these things in the United States. And then in an automotive factory, one of the only non-union automotive factories in the country. They were the kind of people who would come home and take a shower at the end of the night, if you know what I mean, not before they went to work. And that taught me a lot. It inspired me. It's the reason why when I ran for city council, I carried the legislation to raise the minimum wage. And it was my parents who inspired me to run for Congress. But today, I get to introduce someone who not only inspired, but led their entire generation and inspired me and my family. Someone from right here in New Mexico who started her career as a teacher. Let's have a shout out for all the teachers in New Mexico. Here, here. We're not Wisconsin, we're not Ohio. We value our teachers. And she saw a path to create even more change. And she stepped up and she saw the power of collective organizing, the power of bringing people together. And because of her action, thousands of people across this country today have better working conditions. She organized and she led some of the first negotiations to actually give contracts to people who are working, farm workers across this country. And I can tell you, I saw the difference a contract makes. My dad had a contract in the IBW, my mom did not. There were times when she had to work seven days a week, three, days off, three weeks on, one week off. She had to work 10 hours, sometimes 12 hour days. The woman I'm introducing brought the dignity of work to thousands of people across this country. She changed the laws in this country to make sure that we understand that there are people out there who bring us the food on our plate and on our table and that they deserve respect. So it is a great honor for me today to introduce the woman who put the Si Se Puede in the labor movement. I get to introduce Dolores Huerta.